in Naivasha, where we are hearing all sorts of uh, stories about whether it was the speed bumps or not. We've heard from the government, but Rita Tinina now joins us live from the scene of the accident. Uh, Rita, good afternoon. What can you tell us uh, about the scene right now? Well, Yvonne, we are not exactly at the scene, and that is uh, because the scene is just a from here and at the scene there is a lot of activity a lot of congestion we come live to you through the usual phone network so the network on that depression the amount of activity there the amount of people we were transmitting from that location and that's why we have come here we are in Kinungi Karai as I mentioned is just a few kilometers from here and that's all right let's um... some people saying it was Okay, let's, let's try and fix that signal with Rita Tinina. She's just a few uh, meters away from the accident scene. Let's try and fix that so that we can uh, definitely get her back to tell us what is going on at the scene this afternoon. But it is in complete shock uh, that Kenyans woke up this morning in what may well be termed as a Black Sunday. The death toll in the Naivasha tragedy rising to 40, 11 of those who perished were officers of the recce unit of the GSU. It is yet another tragic incident that has robbed many people of their loved ones, even as questions abound over our road safety regulations. And this afternoon, we want to bring you the very latest from our comprehensive coverage on the ground in Naivasha and also right here in Nairobi. A coverage that started early this morning and continues the whole day in a way that only we can. Rita Tinina at the scene there in Naivasha. Caroline B is at the Kenyatta National Hospital. We have Victor Ogale who's at the Naivasha Mortuary, will be bringing you the latest from all these three scenes as we cover this tragic Sunday on this Black Sunday. Now, the Deputy Director of the National Disaster Management Unis, Unit, Pius Masai, is asking those who suspect that their relatives could have been involved in the accident to report to the traffic department at the Naivasha police station. He says most of the bodies were burned beyond recognition and what required DNA testing to establish the identities of the victims. This comes as motorists are advised to use the Mai Mahi route as the scene of the accident is being cleared. The public